non people mover. Uh, the stairs are broken. They expect me to walk. <laughs> we stood down at the same time. Double G. Double G. <laughs> It is. This is one of my favorite rides. How about you? Yeah, it's up there. Yeah. I love it. I would I would never want to come here and not ride it at least one time. Then step into the car for your safety. So this merchant of Venus has turned into a Star Wars store. Like 100 percent Star Wars. You didn't even notice? <laughs> I guess it plays into the stitch. Will be the eight cup. That's funny. Space Mountain, yay! Are you ready to blast off? Yes, yeah, sure am. Let's do it. <laughs> What's this guy up to? All right, Brian's gonna get the one on the far right. Mickey and Space Mountain. And this is a crank one. You have to put some muscle into it. Let's go outside and look at it. That's the backside. Pretty cool. That is cool. Neat. Is that Mickey? Yeah, it's Mickey. That's cool. All right, I think the crowds have arrived now. Part of the day. They all decide to come on out. Yeah, we're actually done riding for today, so we don't care that it's gotten crowded, and we're going to go get a Dole Whip and then go back to our room and make sure that they actually fix our air conditioning because we're planning to stay out for the fireworks tonight, and we don't want to get back really late and find out that the air still doesn't work. Stay show. Uh, dual lip time. Brian got the float, which is melting fast. Mine's melting too, so I'm gonna eat it. So the dual lip was awesome, but we couldn't find a shady spot, so it was very hot and it melted really fast. I felt like I was power eating to get it down before it dripped everywhere. So we managed to do it anyway. <laughs> we did. We, we, we conquered it. Now we're um, heading out back to Pop Century for a break and to inspect our air conditioning. <laughs> and uh, get out of the heat for a little bit, and then we're gonna go back out to Hollywood Studios sometime. And down uh, Main Street, we kinda breezed through Main Street pretty fast this morning. Yeah. I guess these people are waiting for 30 minutes from 3 o'clock to 3? Yes. No, thank you. Well, let's see where they are, they're taking the shady spot. I mean, I, don't, I could do that. We waited 45 minutes one time for the break. We were, well, it was raining that day, so it wasn't hot. Remember you got your popcorn? Oh yeah. We just hung out. But it wasn't hot at all, so that makes a difference. The Halloween stuff looks cool, if not a little early. <laughs> Here we are back at home. I enjoyed the air conditioned bus ride, how about you? Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. It's kinda like a little rest break. Alright, I think we made it back to our room just in time. We heard some thunder, but it's still that kind that could blow over. It's hard to tell. What do you think? I guarantee it's not gonna rain. Really? <laughs> wow. I'm not that confident. It's hard to tell. Good time for a break there. Alright, we took a nice break in the room and we're heading back out and it's still thundering. <laughs> it's not raining at the moment, but we're hoping for the best. We're heading towards the frozen fireworks, um, which isn't for a while, but we thought we'd just head on over to Hollywood Studios. And there goes some thunder. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> So we started heading to Hollywood Studios to go see Frozen Fireworks, yeah, and this happened. Fun. I don't know how well it shows up on the video, but it's like a torrential rain. 
So we're she seeking shelter in the 80s. Are we in the 80s? Yeah, there's Pac-Man. We're in the 80s. And uh, waiting for it to pass. We just got to Hollywood Studios and the rain has stopped, which is awesome. It looks like it's clearing up. We were somewhere on the bus say it's supposed to stop raining anyway, so we're going to head over to the Brown Derby Lounge. Um, if you don't know about that already, you can actually go to the Brown Derby Lounge and as long as there's a table, you can eat there. Um, you don't have to have reservations. And um, see if we can get some dinner there. If it's full, we'll figure something else out. Here's the Frozen Summer Fun stage. Um, I'm glad we came in April and got to see the theater without that in front of it. Um, so that's what we're here for though. We're hoping to see the fireworks tonight. Hopefully they'll still happen even though it's a little rainy. Alright, so we got a seat at the Brown Derby Lounge. As I sort of expected it's deserted because of the rain, which is awesome. Like, there's tons of empty tables. And it's a great spot to people watch. And Brian's looking at the menu. Um, you can get a lot of food and drinks, but you're also allowed to order, our, as far as I know, off the regular menu. Um, you can still do that as well as if you want, but um, I think we're going to order off this menu. Okay, so. Alright, so Brian got the margarita flight here at the Brown Derby Lounge. So what, what did you get? It's classic. Mango. Mango and pomegranate. Pomegranate, yeah. which looks like a Shirley Temple, yeah. he said. <laughs> and here comes my mojito. Yum. Yum. Alright, you gonna try it? The first one? Here we can cheers. Cheers! cheers. Good. good. Mine tastes, I hate to say it, I'm not trying to complain, but it tastes kind of bland. Really? Yeah. I was surprised. I thought it would be more flavorful. And I love mojitos, but it's kind of, um, maybe it's not mixed good. Maybe all the stuff's on the bottom. I don't know. So we're still here at the Brown Derby Lounge, and I got the Cobb Salad. Now, this is the lounge size. I've had the inside size, which is $16, and it's, it's huge. This is 19, I mean, this is nine dollars and then i asked them for some gluten-free rolls and they brought me four i think they meant two of them for brian and he doesn't want any so i don't know that i'll eat four rolls i might you never know and then brian got the vegetarian version yeah. of the cob salad so no meat mine is no blue cheese because it has gluten and i substitute some other kind of white cheese cheddar. white cheddar looks good and she said this has butter with himalayan sea salt for the rolls nice so we'll dig in at the Brown Derby Lounge. My mojito and Cobb salad were very good. How was your stuff? It's very good. What about the margarita flight? Yeah, the salad is actually perfect size. Yeah, it was a good salad. What about the margarita flight? Yeah, that was good too. You liked it? The pomegranate one was a little too sweet though for me. Uh, yeah, I could see that. So it's sad they canceled, or no, they said postponed the frozen dance party, which is sort of what we came for. I mean, mostly the fireworks, but we wanted to see all of it, the festivities, because of the rain, but it's not even really hardly raining. It's barely raining. Um, so hopefully they'll bring it back out soon. So we're just going to walk around and enjoy the atmosphere. Here's a close-up of the frozen stage. It's coming down in a couple of days. Well, the festivities are over in a couple of days. So that's why we wanted to check it out tonight in case um, we don't get another chance while we're here.
gonna check out Women's Green. There's rumors that they're gonna take it down. I hope they don't. I think that would be very sad. Let's check out his sort of this. It's like uh, from uh, what's that, Dr. Seuss? <laughs> Dr. Seuss. Yeah, the because it's furry. Because it's furry. You're so funny. So we finished One Man's Dream, that was cool. We're gonna go in and check out the sound stage and just see what it looks like on the inside. What did someone say it smelled like? Someone said it smelled like something. I don't know, I don't remember. Hi. It does smell. Nothing? Aww. <laughs> That's cute. There's the a relic from the pirate, <laughs> the Jack Sparrow thing. So it looks like the rain has kind of run some people off. Like there's people who are about the dance party and there's people in line for Toy Story, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like the, it. The Frozen sing-along was a full house. That's true, that was full. Actually, that was, if you've seen it in the other place, I would recommend see it again at the, at the I agree, that American was Idol better. Theater. Yeah. It, just, it didn't have any of the columns in your view. That's true. The effects were better. It yeah. Like that was a lot more snow. Yeah. A lot more snow. Yep. Well, if anyone has seen the show Once Upon a Time, you'll recognize this. So that's, you know, the... What's his name? Oh, it's Mr. Gold, but he's um, Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, okay. And he runs a pawn shop in the modern day period of the show. So I'm heading into Star Tours by myself because there's only a 10 minute wait. I don't like to make Brian wait, and he can't do this right. It makes him sick. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and do it while uh, it's a short wait. Tell you what. So after Star Tours travel consultant to book your... So it's almost empty in here. There's a bunch of empty seats. So that was fun, but I always seem to get the same scenes. Um, the Wookiee planet, under the water, same exact scenes. Um, I know it's supposed to be random, but it doesn't seem very random. I look forward to when they add the new scenes from the new movies.